Now, let's just say 600 millimeters isn't long enough for your particular application. We also have the Q4X bigger brother, which is the Q5X. And we have three different ranges here. The model numbers we're showing you, uh, this is just for example, we have more model numbers than this, but in these model numbers where you see the 2000, that's really two meters. So we have three meters and we have one that goes out to five meters. What's unique about this family is the excess gain is even higher than in the Q4X. It's so high as we're noting here that depending on the range of the target, um, even if only 0.1% of the light that hits a target comes back, these sensors are able to detect it. So with that excess gain, this is able to pull off very, very difficult applications. Another thing that's unique about this family is we have one dedicated strictly to jam detection. Now there are other jam detection sensors out there, but ours is unique. Uh, it doesn't require a reflector like some of the other ones do, and it doesn't require a gap between the, the boxes or whatever the target is that it's monitoring. Our unique algorithm can tell uh, if this package is traveling or not, uh, even if there's no gap. If that sensor is not long enough, we have an LTF. In this family, we have two product offerings. We have the LTF 12, which goes out to 12 meters. And we have the LTF 24, which goes out to 24 meters. Another thing that's unique about this family is that it has the best in class combination of range, repeatability, and accuracy. Uh, that's a very important thing, especially when you're going out to very, very long ranges. You want to make sure that your readings stay nice and tight. This has a very easy to read face with the two lines, eight character display. And again, you get all the same outputs that we mentioned before, along with the IP67 housing. On the far left, the LTF is being used in the application to do long range detection of material in the hopper. What's nice again about this sensor is the Pulse Pro output, which is connected to a tower light, which visually shows the level of the material in the hopper. On the far right, you can see it's actually detecting a target at an angle. So these don't have to be perpendicular to the target that it's detecting. If range isn't what you need, but repeatability and resolution is, we have the LE250 and the LE550. So the LE550 has a max range out to one meter, but what that gives you is one millimeter repeatability. The LE250 has a max range out to 400 millimeters with a repeatability of 0.2 millimeters. So this has found a home in the automotive industry, for example, where it's seeing a lot of shiny parts, but where tight tolerances are needed, this works well. The analog output is, works great for diameter roll detection applications as well. So if you need even more resolution, we have the LM family. In this family, we have the LM80 and the LM150. The LM80 goes down to 0 0.002 or 2 microns resolution and the LM154 micron resolution. It comes with this IP67 stainless steel, very compact housing. What's unique about this product is it is best in class thermal and mechanical stability. That's really important because when you have a sensor that can read down to the microns, if for some reason you really needed to replace this sensor, you want to make sure that the optics are in the same place as the last sensor. So Banner has spent a lot of time and energy in, uh, in making sure that these optics are repeatable. And again, you get the same outputs as we mentioned before. Now this sensor is so sensitive that we don't have any push buttons on it for programming. You have to do it remotely and we have an RSD1 remote display that will do that for you. The nice thing about this is this uh, is not needed to run the sensor. It's only needed to program it. So once you program it, you can detach it or if you like, you can leave it attached. Again, some of these sensors are mounted in areas that are not very accessible. So if you want to know what's going on with the sensor, you could leave it attached and get a nice readout. Another nice feature about this is it has the ability to store up to six different configurations. So if you have different sensors in different parts of the plant that, that requires different applications, this device can store those programs and you can quickly upload it to the sensor. Now earlier I had mentioned Pulse Pro. 
This gives you a digital representation of an analog measurement from one of our sensors. So basically, it's an easy way for you to see what the sensor is seeing. An example of that is on the far left there, where we have an LTF gauging the height of this material. And in the hopper, our indicator light is uh, showing you the level in the hopper. Or you could connect this to one of our WLS27 Pros, which again, as these LEDs move up and down, it's actually showing you what the sensor is seeing. Well, that does it for this product offering. Thanks for watching.